it's Mrs. B and SVG. Vincy Vlog. Stay tuned. school today um, Dorsetshire Hill School which is actually both my father's and my husband's previous primary school um, so today's vlog is about that um, and you will see that it was uh, linked to uh, a process of introducing the children to the Flat Stanley project um, and I'm sure you're all familiar with that uh, the story about Flat Stanley who gets squashed um, but then goes on these wonderful adventures um, and it's a way of trying to link respective schools in different countries um, with a view ultimately of uh, not only educating um, children about different cultures um, etc but also perhaps opening up doors for opportunity um, uh, resource um, contributions etc um, so there follows some footage about all of that um, and I hope you enjoy we loved visiting these lovely children here they are so we've got a really exciting vlog today <laughs> we're going to be doing a little thing at a school Dorsetshire Hill School um, to do with Flat Stanley and we've got a special guest <laughs> it's Vivian <laughs> former head teacher oh, retired no. head teacher oh. who's come to show them how it's done oh no it's
<laughs> Mr. Bradshaw. <laughs> Mr. Bradshaw. Oh, now this young man here is not aging at all. I taught him way back in Dawson to him. Mr. Bradshaw. Yeah. Miss Graves has to call him uncle. And this is his lovely wife. Hi. And uh, they brought a friend with them. Now they're going to talk to you a bit. You are going to yes. listen. Do not this talk unless you are asked a question. So you're going to yes. listen and take in everything. Who knows? This might be a very good opportunity for us to scale up the ladder and get good things coming out of somewhere. I don't know yet. So just be patient, listen, and do not interrupt while they are speaking. You're right. Vivian Mead, Mrs. Mead. Mrs. Mead is going to speak to you. Can they sit down? Okay. Oh, no, the the children no, no, no. fantastic okay. welcome to your school. And it was lovely. Um, i ex explain a little bit about myself. I was a teacher for many years, 40 years, and then I became a deputy head, and then I became a head teacher, which is like, Mrs. James, a principal. And I have retired um, now, so I won't tell, don't, it, ladies don't tell me their ages. Um, I have had the privilege to visit this lovely island because of these very good friends of mine, who I know as Rhonda and Tony. And uh, I've met them through my husband because uh, Rhonda is in the legal profession and uh, Tony obviously is her husband and we've met at barbecues and parties. But I have a very special job to do because I've heard wonderful things about your school and about what good learners you are. What's a good learner? What's a good learner? Who can tell me what a good learner is? Well, you're all doing it now. I know you are. Yes? Pardon? Somebody who listens. Somebody who listens and somebody who is good looking and those brains switched on. So <laughs> it's good hearing as well. So I know that you're all listening to me because you're looking at me and that's great. But I've got something in my bag here because there's a school in Wolverhampton called Springdale who would like to become a, like a pen pal with you. We used to sort of swap emails and you tell them about your school and they can tell you about their school and perhaps can send things through the post or perhaps when Mr and Mrs Bradshaw come again they can bring some equipment and things mm -hmm. to you. So in my bag here, do you think I've got anybody in my bag here? Do you think I've got a person in here? No. <laughs> You're all nodding your head. <laughs> Who thinks I've got a person in my bag? Right. Who thinks? I know the cynics amongst you at the back there are thinking, no. Who thinks I... Well, I'm going to show you because I have actually got a little person in my bag. And he's in here. And he's called Flat Stanley. I'm going to introduce you to Flat Stanley. And he has come all the way to visit you and your school, Mrs. James. I'm going to have a photograph soon of you and Flat Stanley. <laughs> and he goes on lots of adventures. He's already been to Gatwick Airport and been on a plane to Barbados and then on another plane to St Vincent and he's been living here in very happily in this envelope with me and Mrs Bradshaw and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to read a little story about Flat Stanley. So just bear with me. Are you ready to listen? Yes. yes. Breakfast was ready. I will go and wake the boys, Mrs Lambchop said to her husband, George Lambchop. Just then, their younger son, Arthur, called from the bedroom he shared with his brother, Stanley. Hey, come and look! Hey! Mr and Mrs Lanchop were both very much in favour of politeness and careful speech. Hay is for horses, Arthur, 
Not possible, Mr. Lamchop said as they entered the bedroom. Try to remember that. Excuse me, Arthur said, but look. And he pointed to Stanley's bed, and across it lay the enormous bulletin board that Mr. Lamchop had given the boys a Christmas ago, so that they could pin up pictures and messages and maps. It had fallen during the night on top of the moon when a favourite ring fell from her finger. The ring rolled across the pavement and down between the bars of grating that covered a dark, deep shaft, and Mrs. Lamchop began to cry. I have an idea, said Stanley. He took the laces out of his People should think twice before making rude remarks at Mrs. Lamchop and then not make them at all. Policemen realised that was that was a good rule and said they would try to remember it. So you see, Stanley has lots and lots of adventures because he has certain advantages of being flat. And you can read <coughs> all about flat Stanley's adventures and you can actually even make up some of your own adventures for flat Stanley. So, we've got flat Stanley there. So I think Mrs. Fletcher would like to take a photograph, would you? <laughs> I'm sure you will all agree what a wonderful opportunity that was to see those children um, to have the privilege of going into their classroom like that. Um, really grateful to my friend Vivian, um, a retired head teacher from England who had just such a flair about her and it was such a privilege to watch so big up big up big up Vivian. Um, but also to my friend Sandra who um, back in England who um, really sort of introduced the whole concept um, and I know we've run away with it and developed it but I'm sure you'll agree Sandra it's uh, a, been a wonderful opportunity and if anyone of you out there wants to get involved with um, what we hope now to be an ignited program of support um, to this um, school project then please comment below um, but do subscribe to my channel there's a subscriber there um, and keep watching because the Vinci vlog continues. Woo, 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 woo. Only control it next time. <laughs>